We'll come to a proof using the squeeze theorem that the limit as x approaches zero of sine x divided by x equals one. Let's first review the squeeze theorem. The squeeze theorem states that if f of x is greater than or equal to g of x and less than or equal to h of x, for all x in an open interval containing c, but possibly not at c, and the limit as x approaches c of g of x equals the limit as x approaches c of h of x, which both equal L, then it follows that the limit as x approaches c of f of x, this function here in the middle, also equals L. So looking at this graphically, our function f of x would be this blue function here in the middle, g of x would be this function here that's equal to or below f of x, and h of x would be this top function here that's equal to or above f of x. Notice in this graph, the limit as x approaches zero of both g of x and h of x equals zero, and therefore it follows by the squeeze theorem. The limit as x approaches zero of f of x also equals zero. And now we'll prove that the limit as x approaches zero of sine x divided by x equals one using the squeeze theorem and the fact that we know that sine x divided by x, graphed here in blue, is greater than or equal to cosine x, graphed here in red, and less than or equal to one, graphed here in green, near values approaching x equals zero. Before we write this out more formally, notice the limit as x approaches zero of cosine x is equal to one, and the limit as x approaches zero of one also equals one. And therefore we can see from this graph, the limit as x approaches zero of sine x divided by x will also equal one. But let's write this out more formally as a proof. So we'll say since sine x divided by x is greater than or equal to cosine x and less than or equal to one on an open interval near x equals zero and the limit as x approaches zero of cosine x equals one and the limit as x approaches zero of one equals one. Therefore, by the squeeze theorem, it follows the limit as x approaches zero of sine x divided by x also equals one. I hope you found this helpful.